All right, guys, welcome back. This is our week 21 health video. We've done a lot. Last couple of weeks, we talked about sleep. And then last week, we talked about our immune system and how our body fights off diseases with vaccinations and all that other good stuff, including sleep. So this week, we're going to talk about white blood cells. We talked a little bit about white blood cells last week when it comes to the immune system and how white blood cells help take down kind of foreign objects in our body, kind of fight them off. This week, let's go a little bit more. So basic stuff, white blood cells are part of the germ fighting immune system. You knew that. They're like little warriors floating around in your body waiting to attack invaders like viruses and bacteria. You have several types of white blood cells and each has its own special role in fighting off different kinds of germs that make people sick. So every type of white blood cell in your body is there to fight a different object. It could be there to fight the common cold, cough, cough. If you're sick and you have the flu, if you just got a fever, all our white blood cells are there to do a certain job. So we don't want to kill those guys or hurt them. We want to make sure they can keep going. So let's get started. What is blood and what does it do? So we kind of had a talk earlier this year about blood. So we're going to go over that. So some of this will might be a little refresher, but let's keep going on. Blood brings oxygen and nutrients to all parts of the body so they can keep working. Blood carries carbon dioxide and other waste materials to the lungs, kidneys, and digestive system to be removed from the body. Blood also fights infections, white blood cells, and carries hormones around the body. Blood is made up of blood cells and plasma. Plasma is a yellowish fluid like that has nutrients, proteins, hormones, and waste products. The different types of blood cells have different types of jobs. So what are the blood cells? Red blood cells are shaped slightly indented and they contain hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein that carries oxygen. We knew that because that's how oxygen gets throughout our body is with the red blood cells and transporting the blood throughout our body. As the blood travels to the body, the hemoglobin releases the oxygen and different to the different body part. Each red blood cell lives for about four months. Each day, the body makes new red blood cells to replace those that die that are lost from the body. So if you cut your finger or anything, there's blood pouring out. So we always make new ones. Red blood cells are made in the inside part of the bones called the bone marrow. White blood cells. Here we go. White blood cells called, who remembers, leukocytes are a key part of the immune system. The immune system helps the body defend itself against infection. Different types of white blood cells fight germs, bacteria, and viruses. Some types of white blood cells make antibodies, which are special proteins that recognize foreign materials and help the body get rid of them. That's kind of like what the COVID vaccine is. There are proteins in your body that are starting to fight off the bad disease, hopefully soon. There are several types of white blood cells and their lifespans vary from hours to years. New cells are constantly being formed just like red blood cells. Some in the bone marrow and some in other parts of the body, such as the spleen, thymus, and lymph nodes. Blood contains far fewer white blood cells than red blood cells, although the body can increase white blood cell production to fight infection. So if you're not feeling the greatest and your body starts to kind of fight off that disease, your body is sensing, hey, I'm sick. We need a help. So they'll start to make more white blood cells. There are several types of white, or blood contains far fewer. All we know that the white blood cell count the number of cells in the given blood amount of blood in someone with an infection often is higher than usual because more blood cells are being made or entering the bloodstream to battle the infection. Platelets are tiny oval shaped cells that help in the clotting process. When a blood vessel breaks, platelets gather to vary to help seal it off. So platelets survive about nine days in your body. So let's see here, where are we going to? Right here. Now, what are white blood cells? So as you, we just talked about, your blood is made up of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Your white, bloods account, white blood cells account for 1% of your blood, but their impact is big. White blood cells they help protect. Think of white blood cells as your immunity cells. In a sense, they are always at war. So your body's always fighting. If you're kind of sore, it's fighting. If you're sick, it's fighting. It's always fighting. They throw the bloodstream to fight viruses, bacteria, and other foreign invaders that threaten your health. When the body is in distress and a particular area is under attack, white blood cells rush to help destroy that area. White blood cells are made in the bone marrow and are stored in the blood and lymph tissues. One to three days or even longer. There are five types of white blood cells. Five. 
monocytes, which have a longer lifespan than many blood cell, white blood cells, and help break down bacteria. Lymphocytes, which we've talked about, they create the an antibody to help fight the bacteria, viruses, and other harmful invaders. Neutrophils, they fill and digest bacteria, they kill and digest bacteria and fungi. They are the most numerous type of white blood cell in your first line of defense when infection strikes. Basophils, these small cells seem to sound an alarm when infectious agents invade your body. They secrete, that means they let go of chemicals such as histamine, a marker of allergic disease that can help control the body's immune system. So basophil kind of sets the alarm, hurt, ow, 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 and they start to let off histamine that kind of helps control the body a little bit. And isophils, they attack and kill parasites and cancer cells and help with allergic responses. So problems affecting the white blood cells. These are little things that help that hurt you. When something is destroying the cells more quickly than the body can replenish them, or when the bone, bone marrow stops making white blood cells to keep healthy. When your white blood cell count is low, you are at a great risk for any illness and infection. Your healthcare provider can provide a blood test to figure it out. A number of diseases and conditions may affect your white blood cells. A weak immune system, infection, um, let's see here, cancers, different types of disorders, and medicine. Some medicines can raise or lower your white blood cell count. Conditions such as extreme physical stress caused by injury or emotional stress can help trigger white blood cell levels. So can inflammation, labor, and at the end of pregnancy, smoking, and even exercise. So let's see if we can go to our questions. There we go. There we are. So as you can see here, we have some videos set up this week. How many types of white blood cells are there? Arteries and what help transport blood throughout the body? Was it veins, oxygen, or muscles? And true or false, white blood cells remove poisons and waste from the body. White blood cells, guys. Thank you so much for coming around, watching with us this week. Week 22 is next week. We're moving on. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we have two more videos right below. Go watch those. Thank you, Eagle.